One of the most valuable features of Measuring Up Insight allows educators to create their own assessments. In this tutorial, we will go through creating a math assessment. These steps are also applicable when using science. Navigate to the Insight tab and select Create Assessment. If at any point during the assessment creation process you wish to discard and start again, you may do so by clicking Discard. You may also return to prior points in the assessment by clicking on the desired section in the black banner. You may also choose to save your assessment, and it will be saved in your drafts folder in your assessment library for future edits. The first step is to name your assessment. When choosing a name, it is important to be as descriptive as possible, since you have the option to share this assessment with others in your school or district. This also helps keep your assessment library organized, as you may want to reuse assessments with future classes. Next, select your standards, grade level, and subject matter. Select the distractor mode, which specifies how the multiple choice answers will appear. You may choose letters or numbers. You may leave your assessment set at private if you do not want other teachers to have access to it, or choose public to share it with others within your school or district. For math and science assessments, you may select Quick Test Mode. In the field provided, enter the number of questions you wish to have on this assessment, and Insight will randomly select the items based on the standards you choose. If you wish to have more control over your assessment by picking items based on content, difficulty, and cognitive categories, leave the Quick Test option unchecked. You may add additional notes about this assessment in the Description field. Click Next. In Step 2, you may choose to exclude items that appear on other assessments, such as the Mastery Education Assessments. Place a check mark next to those you wish to exclude from this assessment. If you do not plan to assign the practice tests already in the system, please leave them unchecked so that you may use those items on this assessment. Click Next. In the third step, select the standards you want to assess. If you are creating a comprehensive pre- or post-type assessment, you might want to select all of the objectives, or you may select just a few standards or substandards for a short, targeted assessment to follow your scope and sequence. Click the arrow icon next to a standard to expand that standard's details. The correlating item counts are identified to the right of each standard. Once standards have been identified with a check mark, click Next. If you selected Quick Test Mode earlier, your assessment will be ready to publish, download, print, or assign. If you did not select Quick Test Mode, let's continue. The fourth step allows you to view and select individual items. The items will automatically be sorted by standard. The downward facing arrow icon will reverse the page selection from top to bottom. The filter section on the left side of the screen allows you to narrow in on what you are looking for. The first filter options include skills and question types. In addition, each item in the Insight Bank is tagged with difficulty and cognitive designations. These designations include a five-tier difficulty scale, as well as revised Bloom's taxonomy, Bloom's knowledge dimension, and Webb's depth of knowledge. The final filter options include passage word limit and passages stimuli genres. Be sure to click the Apply button if you wish to utilize the filters, and the question bank on the right will automatically refresh. Each standard will show in a gray box with all corresponding items following directly underneath. Use the information below each item to guide your selection. You may also review the question before selecting by clicking the arrow icon to the right of the item. This will include graphics, the question stem, the multiple choice answer options, additional question information, and any applicable reading passage. Place a check mark in the circle to the left of each item you wish to select. As you select items, the system will keep track of the item count of your assessment as well as its average difficulty level. Click Next when the desired questions have been selected. Step 5 gives you a visual of the items per standard coverage. 
the different colored bars indicate the different standards selected. If you wish to add more items, click on the Questions section in the black banner to go back to the prior screen. You may also reorder items by holding your cursor on the dotted icon and moving the item to the desired location. You may also weight individual items in this step. This gives you flexibility when including bonus items or items from standards previously assessed in your class. You may use the Assign drop-down menu in the upper right corner to assign the same point value for all items, or you may assign individual point values using the drop-down menu next to each item. When you are finished, click Next. In the last step, you will see a summary of your assessment. If you need to edit any portion, click the desired section in the black banner across the top of the screen to return to that step. When you are finished, click Publish. You will see a confirmation that your assessment was successfully published and you will be redirected to your assessment library. It will automatically be sorted by self-created assessments and your newest assessment will be at the top of the library listing. You can now utilize the available options in the action column to the right of your new assessment. To learn how to create an English language arts assessment or to assign or print an assessment, see the video tutorials on these topics.